Hey guys, it's Mark from Signature Camper Trailers. Um, we get a lot of questions, obviously, about the um, the iridiums, the 13 foot and the 15 foot, and the fully enclosed annex that comes comes with these um, campers. Um, a lot of it's to do with the setup of it. Um, we've developed a new system in terms of the setup of our uh, fully enclosed annex that's basically built onto our electric awning. So we've got the electric awning, which we've already put out. Um, that's just a button, a switch inside. You roll that out. Um, set it up and our fully enclosed annex is then built off this. It's a brand new system um, uh, that we've developed. Uh, it made it super easy to set it up and we're going to run through basically how to set it up. There's a few bits and pieces that obviously come with it. Um, the basic setup is the same on the 13 foot and the 15 foot so this, basic, this process will work for both of them. Um, as you can see we've actually already put the, the skirt along the front of the camper trailer. Um, they're just uh, basically uh, press studs to put them in, so that only took us you know, 30 seconds to run along and put the press studs in, basically just all the way along it and you feed it through there. It's the only part that we've done um, prior to this. There's a few bits and pieces that we've got laid out, um, which is what you'd normally do when you're setting up the, setting up the fully enclosed annex when you're at camp. Um, that way if you lay it out you know where it's all it is and it's easy to sort of position it all. Um, over this side down the end here we've got a couple of poles that we've put down here. So we've got uh, basically two number two poles and they've got a hook on the end of them. Um, we've got a number one pole which is your funny looking pole, sort of a uh, long angle and um, you know got a few kinks and whatnot in it. A number five pole and then um, underneath all that we've got the canvas for this side of the camper. Uh, when I'm setting it up, I'll show you what we use to tell which side which on in terms of the canvas. Um, over here we've got a um, basically the extra poles, um, extra support poles that go into the um, into the top of it. Uh, this is what you are, what you're attaching your um, what you're attaching your canvas to, um, and then these are just some beams to help support the um, the roof of the annex down onto the fully enclosed setup. Over at the front here. And number four pole, and your front, so the front wall of the um, of the enclosed annex. And over here, we've got the, the other side wall, that extra support beam which we're using to run along the front of the um, of the fully enclosed annex, and then those extra brackets which we're using to connect the roof down onto the um, onto the system. So basically, first of all, um, obviously you're going to have your electric awning out. So that's basically come out, um, and we've set the legs up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop it down a little bit, make it easier to reach. So if I lower that down, and I'll lower that one down as well, then we need to basically set up the uh, set up those uh, extension poles, which you're going to which you're going to connect all of your canvas up to. So when you first get the camper, what you may have is basically these three bits here, and uh, in the center of it all is basically this locating or um, locking mechanism. So what we need to do is using an Allen key is just undo the, uh, the screw grab or the screw grub. We're going to feed that most of the way in. And then using that screw grub will lock that, basically locking uh, that locking pole right into it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put that into there and then you've got your winder here which I'm just going to stick that over the edge and seal that in. So we've already done that part of it um, on the other side but first time you get it that's probably what you'll need to do you can leave that bit in the um, lock in in the future. So initially we need to get this one up. So all I'm going to do is going to throw it up here. If you have a look here, um, there's a little clip in there and that part there, we're going to lock into the little clip up in there. And then the very front of this, we've got a um, basic spring-loaded uh, bolt mechanism and that's just going to go lock onto the, um, into the bolt up in there. So as easy as that, I'll just lock that in there. Feed this out, lock that onto there, then using that, uh, that screw grub that we were using before, stretch that out and lock that in place. Now, down here, what we've got is um, basically these runners or these rails. Um, this is what we're actually going to use to lock the roof down um, to effectively the structure that we're putting on. So you've got a shorter one and a slightly longer one. We're going to put the shorter one at the back. 
and then the longer ones like the front. So what we want them to do is just basically to lock into place. Same with that back one. And then what we've got is we've got a couple of these just grab. So basically um, these little screw grabs that we're gonna use here. And what these do is these actually lock it all into place, but it also uh, pushes down the top down uh, to create that waterproof seal. So I'm not gonna do all of them. Basically you can get three on each pole. I'm just gonna do two for this, start, this example. As you can see, as I'm pushing that in, it's lifting that up and pushing down on there. So one there, and because I'm a little bit short, I'm just gonna use a step and put that final one in. That instantly pushes the, the roof part down, straight down onto that, um, onto that ledge so we can create that seal. And I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Again, we're just hooking that up into there. Straight up in there. Locking that off, stretching that out. So that's all nice and secure. And I'm just gonna grab my locking screws. Got a whole bag of them. So again, smaller rail at the back. This one might be a bit of a challenge because wasn't blessed with height. You can instantly see that's lifting up and locking it in place. Same with the front. And finally, front one here. So those gutter rails just clipping straight in. Threading them in. And if you actually have a look up here, um, so we'll stick the camera up so you can actually see on the roof and it's actually pushing the roof of the, um, of the annex straight down and creating that seal. So guys, um, put the support rolls on either side. Our next step is actually sticking, um, just sticking a couple of extra poles up in place. So uh, what we've got here down the front is poles number three and poles number four. So number four is the one with your spike on the end. Basically, you've got a hole up here in the very front. We're just gonna stick that through there. I'm not gonna stick it all the way at the moment. The reason being, is that I've got this number three pole. What this number three pole is for is actually um, basically to lift the, the roof of the thing up, uh, roof of the annex up. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stick that onto that lip, basically onto the pole, that, the spike that we just put in from the number four pole. Feed that in and then I'm gonna feed this part out and put, there's a little V-shaped cutout clip on there and I'm just gonna feed that all the way out onto that lip and tighten that, lock it in place. As you can see, it lifts the um, it lifts the roof of the annex up. The reason it lifts the roof of the annex up is we don't want to have to worry about dropping legs down and whatnot to have water run off. If it is raining, uh, you've got your highest point in the very center, water is automatically going to run off, um, run off to either edge, even into either edge. Then we've got the poles down here. So, what we've got here is your number one pole. And number one pole, we're just going to stick, there's a hole just up here. Basically, we're gonna stick that up in there. And then I'm gonna 
stretch the bottom out. It's a little bit too short. So lock that one into there. Just like that. Then what we've got is two number two poles. Number two pole has a hook on the end of it and that's going into, um, into these points here. So actually I'll do the bottom one first, hook it in, leave the inside of your, um, of your clip on the inside of the canvas, stretch it out, clip it in place and lock that one on. And then your other number two pole is going to be slightly above it. Again, straight in the hook, stretch it out. And put that out and spin that around and lock that in. Um, finally, you've got your number five pole down there. We'll worry about that after we've actually put the canvas in place. So working on the canvas, it's all sail track. It's a combination of sail track, zippers, um, uh, and, um, and Velcro. And that's basically what we make to work it all, make it all go together. I'm gonna to start with the side behind the kitchen. The reason I'm gonna do that is because you can actually just put this side up by itself. Um, if the weather's coming in from that angle, then basically you don't need to worry about the rest of it. Just stick this side up and um, yeah, and you'll be sort of, you'll be right, you'll be out of the rain. So we've got this bit here, normally attached to the canvas. Um, but we're actually going to run that down, uh, down the sail track, and it'll basically form part of, um, uh, basically form part of what we're going to attach the wall to. So, effectively, we want to make sure that we've got it the right way around. Um, I'm going to have the Velcro on the outside of it. There's sail track that runs all along here. All I'm going to do is stick it in there and feed it down. Once we get down to that little lip, bring it down all the way around until it's in that. And then I can actually Velcro that straight onto the skirt that we've already got in place. There's a Velcro there. Part of the reason the Velcro is there is you still need to be able to run your gas hose out if you want to have your kitchen on. So you can still run that through there with that Velcro. Then we need to run the sail track into the top. So as you can see, um, this part's attached to the camper. Basically undo the zip and then undo the Velcro. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna feed this into the sail track, which is just up there, just on so inside that, um, uh, that rod that we've already put on. So what I'm gonna do is feed it in there. All the way in. Um, and if you have a look in here, there's a little um, V-shape basically clip, um, and that's where it's gonna stop. And then we're gonna grab the wool and stick it up. So we've already got it laid out here. If you've got a second pair of hands, it always helps. But we're just gonna connect that zipper up inside. Use the, um, the Velcro to help you support the weight. Stick that up and run that along there. All the way along. We'll feed that back through and connect it up to the Velcro. And then that Velcro that we've already put into the sail track on the edge, we're just going to run that wall and connect all of that up. That creates your seal all the way to the ground. And then you've got your little tabs in here which will actually hold this then um, hold that onto uh, hold that onto your arm. I'm gonna lift that up slightly just so we can oops so basically the reason I'm gonna lift that up is so that I can just put this little uh, locking bit on there. I'll go and fix that pole up that dropped down. Number four pole. So that's locked in place. Bring that all out. 
Now, the reason I'm fully setting this up here now is because, as I mentioned, you can sort of just do this wall by itself. It means we've got a wall there. You can lift it up a little bit, obviously, to, to, obviously to help. But we've then got full access to the kitchen. So we can pull the kitchen out. Got your cooker there. Cooker there. Um, obviously sink, hot and cold water and everything. Pull the legs out. But otherwise, you kick it, you kit, your kitchen set up, but you've got a heap of protection and heap of sort of um, uh, cover from sort of foul weather or anything like that. But we'll throw that around way for the time being. Pop that in. Bring that out. And we'll throw the other wall up. Exactly the same system. Um, being that this is on a bit of a curve, it means that you've got a two bits of sail track that need to go into the front. So what we'll do is we'll grab those bits on the ground here. So two sections. Um, to do from in here, you got a bottom lower section, um, which is the smaller bit, and then you've got an upper section which we're going to feed through the whole way through. Um, the whole way through the canvas. So uh, what we need to do is basically run this in here. So starting from the bottom, feed this up here, just like that. And then we can hook it straight up to the Velcro that's from the skirt on the front. And then we'll run this one down from the top. So again, we'll just feed it in. and bring it down, that way it's actually got a Velcro tab um, which connects onto the other side, that way your two bits are gonna connect up and stay put. Uh, as easy as that, and then obviously we're gonna throw the wall on. So I'll come around. Um, same as what we did on the kitchen side, is we'll actually take the top section off, run it through and then attach the wall. If you've got two of you, you may be able to sort of do it through, um, do it in one motion. I always just find it's easier to um, just to do it in two quick, sec two quick sections. Run that through there. Again, all the way to the end till it reaches. Then I'm going to throw this wool over the edge. This pole doesn't fall down. It should just sit there and hang over that. That also then takes some of the weight off. Then I'm going to connect it up again with the, uh, with the zipper. And I'm going to use a step again because I'm still short. all the way along there. Then push that out and connect it up to make sure it's running all the way in. And then connect it up to the Velcro which is uh, which we've already put on that sail track. is where our number five pole comes in. So all that's gonna do is actually just, um, basically just prop this area up. So what we'll do is we'll clip that onto your number two pole and then lock that into this little gap there. Just push it out so it's got a bit of support. Bring it in and just attach the Velcro tab to it. Essentially, that's your two walls done. Um, as we bring it sort of out and connect it up with different bits of Velcro, it will bring out, uh, it will pull out. But again, you've got more tabs here. So you can connect it up. 
may need to shorten that slightly. Bring that in. Same with the top. And then I can connect that toe up there. Um, so guys, that's your two walls. Um, finally, it's just the front we need to do um, and then lift it all up. So yeah, we'll throw the front on exactly the same as we've, um, as we've thrown the two walls on. So guys, put the two walls up um, either side, put the support poles up. Final quick stage is actually just sticking the, um, sticking the front wall up. So we've got the front wall here, um, which I'll roll out. And again, I'm basically going to take that top section off, which we're gonna run through the sail track. Um, and uh, connect that one up, and then we'll attach the wall to the um, to the base to, the, to it using the using the zipper. So undo that. Big tough SBS zippers, so they're not going to go anywhere quick. Undo that. Excuse me. So basically, all I'm going to do is run this straight through here. Again, straight through the sail truck. Connect this end bit up with the Velcro. So with the front sail track section in, all we gotta do is zip the, um, zip the front wall up to it. So basically, same as a sock, just gonna grab the grab the bit of canvas and hook it up to the zip, run it all along, and then connect the Velcro up on either side. So I've got it sitting out here in front. So a nice big long bit. You know it's the front because it's the longest bit. Basically, I'm gonna walk over to the edge, um, and then up in here, in basically inside the sail track, is, um, is where our zip connects up to. Um, so all I need to do, is come in here, lift it up, and connect that second bit of the zipper up, and run the zipper all the way along it. You can use then the Velcro to help take some of that weight while you run it along. zipped up and then basically you just want to connect up the um, the Velcro bits. So whether you're inside or outside to do that, you can basically see where the Velcro all runs all the way along. All the way down there, along that edge. And finally, the back section, so the kitchen wall area. Um, obviously you've got the little Velcro tabs just to keep everything in line with the um, with the poles. The only final bit that we haven't done, which um, which you can do, which is easy enough to do, is actually the floor. So um, down the bottom here, all the way along the edge and all the way around it is um, is basically obviously where the floor connects. You can see there's Velcro all the way along the um, basically the outskirts, so the whole way the skirt, uh, both all of the walls. Basically, you just drop your floor in, um, lay your floor out, and you connect your floor up to this um, uh, to the Velcro. So it's a PVC floor, so it's hard wearing. Um, it's obviously, more suitable for a floor being um, a PVC material. Um, and then that just connects up. But um, yeah, that's as easy as it, as easy as it gets. Um, in terms of what you've got then inside of here, obviously you've got the wall with the big fly screen, um, so that can be zipped up. And just to keep all the flies and nasties out, you've got big uh, airy window here. Uh, you've got another door there, um, uh, another window here, and obviously a couple more windows here, which keeps things uh, extremely uh, extremely open and, and um, airy. 
in here, you got your frig slide. So it means we've still got full access to the frig slide, still complete usability of that. Let's stick a light on there. And then we can set the kitchen up. So it really creates a very, very comfortable and enclosed area in no time at all. And it means you've got full protection. Obviously you'd flip the legs down, um, legs down and that didn't take us too long. Uh, that was me explaining it and it took all of about 15, 20 minutes. Um, if you're doing it yourself, um, it shouldn't take that long, especially once you've done it a couple of times. In reality, you're not gonna set it up every time, um, but for the longest days, if you're staying somewhere for a couple of days or the weather it does look like it's gonna turn a little bit foul, then it's, you know, it's the perfect addition to, um, to, to the camp trailer and it explodes the amount of living space that you get out of this. Um, so yeah, included with our Iridium 13 and our Iridium 15, um, it's a great bit of kit. Uh, we've done a lot of work on it to make it right. Uh, the canvas is um, of the highest quality with all uh, midget proof screening and fully enclosed. Um, so guys, check us out, uh, signaturecamptrailers.com.au, 1-300-935-400. Um, uh, we've got a camper trailer for everyone, and this is just one part of one of our campers. So um, guys, if you have any questions, shoot us through to us. But thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.